right now uh, we are facing a very dangerous situation in Brazil. We have uh, the institutionalization of the violence with Jair Bolsonaro being our president. And uh, we know that in a country uh, poor and unequal as mine, with uh, a no distance past of slavery and colonialism, uh, we know who is, who will suffer more in all the situation. And I'm talking about all marginalized people as black women and poor people in Brazil. Bolsonaro is not only a traditional macho, he is an enemy of the women because uh, he not only puts himself against issues that is so important to us, like uh, have the choice of your, our own body, he's all also telling people that uh, being a woman uh, means, being a woman means uh, stay in a place where we have to do what men are telling us to do. Uh, so when you talk about abortion, for example, who is also a, a very important agenda for us as black women, because right now abortion in Brazil is a matter of class, because who can pay, it's okay. Now, if you can't, you will die. And we know as black women that we are in that side, the side of death. I think when we are thinking about a a country project, uh, when we are thinking about equality, when, when we think about uh, giving answers for those who have been marginalized, we are thinking in a feminist perspective. Uh, it's a complex context in Brazil, so we have this context uh, very dangerous and in the same time we have a lot of uh, Marielle seeds um, becoming congress women congress women so we have uh, Aurea Carolina Talira Petroni uh, Erica Malunguinho Monica Seixas and so many others uh, who who are trying to um, put a new agenda with equality and in a, in a democracy context. We have to work in these two things, one support and embrace, and the second one is uh, trying to give some political education because we have uh, a very erased past. And so right now it's really important to us to work uh, and put all the focus on gender, class and race. The three issues together is what we're trying to do when we're giving um, political education for those women, women who has children, women who has no job. Uh, some of them uh, have a good uh, racial consciousness, but no class consciousness. So we have to to work in that sense, and uh, we are very differently, very very differently. But we dialogue and by dialogue. 
So we could, uh, we could do this kind of dialogue. We could tell people, okay, you not agree with this um, socialism uh, thing, you not agree with this um, idea of having uh, pity part uh, in the power again, but you agree that we need to live in a democracy for you can be you and me can be me. And so we just build a scenario uh, where uh, we could be together, um, stand by each other and we could, uh, we could transform our differences in something good because it's not, it's not a pro problem to be different. The problem is to be an, an equal. We need to build a scenario uh, where uh, uh, the dialogue is uh, one of the biggest strategies. So we just saw we can do it by uh, a big event. And sometimes we can do it by go to the streets, to march. The march is just uh, uh, a way of we show the world we all we exist and we are here, but the work we do and the, the stuff work we do is before, now, is while we are building the march, because in, in that moment we talk to people, we try to make people feel uh, in our feet, we make, we're trying to uh, telling people that uh, right now, uh, the situation isn't good. We know that we have been feeling that for a long time because it's our sons and husbands who has been dying by police forces, by the violence of the state. But we are not crying. We are standing because we know that we need to keep going and keep uh, telling people that uh, if a change, a big change is, is, is rising in Brazil, they come for us. So we can ignore and we need to speak because we have been silenced for so long and people thought that it was a good strategy, don't talk about our differences. This kind of thought bring us for this, what we're living now. So we need to educate our people to talk about our difference, talk about that um, we have been uh, growing in a very, um, in a very different context and uh, a lot of it is based on the inequalities. We can have the right forces, have the only narrative who is worthy. We, need, we are building our own narrative and we want telling people that uh, it's okay and we have a lot of uh, things to fight for.